What's going on, champs and champettes? It's FireMonkey here, and as you can tell by the actual thumbnail and title of today's YouTube video, we are going to be delving into a world I don't typically delve into when it comes to talking about or actually experiencing on this YouTube channel, and that is the wild, wild world of VTubers. Now, for this specific topic, we are talking about a specific YouTuber named Russia from the group Hololive Productions. Now, if you're like me and you didn't really know that much about Hololive, basically what Hololive is, is it's a VTuber agency in Japan that finds talent and gets them their own VTuber avatars and stuff, you know, the big budget products or whatever, and gets them to make content for this Hololive brand, allowing them to get a insane amount of growth very quickly, while also, you know, making revenue through product sales, whether it be, you know, actual figurines, merch, shirts, whatever it might be, and it's just a whole entire group of, you know, different VTubers, and one of these VTubers is named Russia. Now, Russia is a female VTuber account character, and something actually happened recently that caused Twitter to completely explode with people having a lot of controversy both in the Japan community and the English community for VTubers, and it's the fact that a Discord message would show up in the top left of one of their live streams, where it made it look like this VTuber character was actually in a relationship. That's right, you may be like, wait, what do you mean? So you mean to tell me that a VTuber is getting cancelled for being in a relationship with someone? Yes, but also no. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of history lessons here for you guys who as I was you know moments ago didn't know that much about this character so Russia has a lot of different you know merchandise stuff out there and the thing about this specific person is that one of their merch items is an engagement ring and of course you know it's not an official thing if you buy the engagement ring that doesn't mean you're going to marry this VTuber model or whatever it, whatever you want to call it but it is a little bit of a thing that adds to the whole entire like parasocial relationship that happens here where people feel like they're connected to the person themselves while also, you know, having this whole entire aspect of that person doesn't know I exist, but I feel that special connection, you know, that zing's there, and it just adds to a lot of weirdness. So basically, a lot of these active viewers who had watched this specific Hololive character a lot had heard these uh, type of, you know, traits about this character that the character was single and was only dedicated to her fans. And it, as it turns out, during one of their live streams where they're playing Grand Theft Auto V, it was online they a message actually shows up in the top left from another character in this whole entire world called Mafu Mafu and it made a lot of people seem like oh wait a minute based on this message which is like I'm about to go home you know do the home or whatever it made a lot of people think that oh there's a relationship going on down here these this person's actually in a relationship with another person who's already popular and something I want to mention right off the bat here before we start going more in depth about the whole entire situation is that according to a lot of people who have probably properly translated the messages, they said in their message that they were going to go to their home to play games with them, as in, they weren't going to be in the same home, this person was going to go to their own home, which wasn't the same as Russia's home, in order to play video games with Russia, whether it be on stream, whether it be after stream, whatever it might be. But in reality, I'm not going to go in depth on the whole entire situation, because honestly, I don't know that much about the entire situation, but based on the little bit I have read and researched, it appears that a lot of people are out here speculating that oh hey this Russia character who had said in the past that they weren't in a relationship is apparently going to be in a relationship with this Mafu person and they've been keeping it on the down low so that this person you know lie to their audience keep the parasocial relationship going and sell these engagement rings merch or whatever it might be and in my honest opinion of the whole entire situation I just want to say that it's not a crime right if these two have a nice relationship if they are dating you know I'm not saying they are or anything because I don't know the whole entire situation if they aren't, if they are, who cares? It's not your business to get in. And if they're selling engagement rings and all this stuff, and you're one of the type of people who are actually like, yeah, I love this character so much. I'm going to buy this so I can show how committed I am to them. I'm going to make sure I'm subbing a tier three or whatever it is to show how committed I am. You probably are the one with the problem here. And I'll probably get, you know, some actual hate towards me t because of that statement there. But in my personal opinion, I feel that if, if that's how it's going to go down to the point where hey, this character, this, you know, this YouTuber, this streamer, whatever you want to call it, has a relationship, I'm going to cancel all my subscriptions, I'm never going to support them ever again, then you obviously weren't watching the person in the first place for the content or the personality or anything, you were just there because you felt like, you know, they were your one, they were your other half, whatever it might be. 
And yeah, I'm laughing a little bit when recording this audio, and this has been multiple attempts at actually recording it, because it's just a stupid situation where it all is just, like, one, you know, sure, you know, maybe whether it be the choice of Hololive or the choice of Russia themselves, this character has been sold as, you know, this parasocial companion. Even though they don't know you, you can act like your best friends with them, and you've known them forever, you know all their interests or whatever. But two... It's their own life at the end of the day. Like, if this person, you know, one day ended up getting fired from Hollow Live or they stopped being this VTuber model and they stopped doing social media stuff overall, if they have these friendships and stuff, who cares? It's like their own personal life. And it's like, you don't look at other people like, I don't know, Toby Turner or whatever, other people who used to do YouTube a lot and then stopped doing it and now no one really talks about them. And you don't think, oh man, you know, I, I wished I married them or whatever. It sucks that they are in a relationship with insert name here. Here. They were my one and only. I always watch their content. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below What do you think about this very weird drama in my personal opinion? I just think that it's a whole entire issue of people getting way too parasocial with relationships with you know People that don't even know them and I think that the trauma shouldn't even have, exi have existed in the first place You know the people who watch them that started not spending money, you know Canceling subscriptions or whatever just because they found out this character is in a relationship is kind of weird champ But with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. If you did, consider subscribing and support the content I create, and I'll catch you jams and champettes next time with another YouTube video.